This here is clonidine overdose, and clonidine overdose can closely mimic opiate overdose. So we've drawn a childlike version of our character from the opiate overdose cartoon here. This is one of my colleagues and mentors, Dr. Richard Cantor from SUNY Upstate Medical University, who specializes in pediatric emergency medicine that we've added as a uh, tribute to him in this illustration. Clonidine is available in pill form or as a transdermal patch and it's used to treat hypertension, opiate withdrawal, and attention deficit disorder. Clonidine decreases sympathetic tone by acting as a central alpha-2 receptor agonist. And in overdose, there's some peripheral alpha-1 activation, which causes a transient hypertension, which then will subside and reveal itself as profound hypotension. The classic scenario in this illustration is a toddler that accidentally ingests his older brother's attention deficit disorder medication and in this case clonidine. Child will come in at the time they're brought in usually with hypotension but remember since there is some initial peripheral alpha-1 receptor agonism, they'll have initial hypertension and then when the overdose signs and symptoms progress, they'll get the profound hypotension. The heart rate can remain normal or become somewhat bradycardic. Respiratory rate will be a little depressed. The patient will be quite somnolent but usually responds to aggressive sternal rub or stimuli. Just like opiate overdose, a patient might have some meiosis and the treatment that can be initiated is high dose naloxone. So in this cartoon we drew a 50 gallon drum of naloxone just emphasizing the extremely high doses required to reverse this. The treatment itself is supportive, which includes monitoring airway, breathing, circulation, respiratory rate. These young children will often be admitted to the hospital and kept with their parents. If they become overly somnolent, they'll respond quite well to painful stimuli like sternal rub, and again, high dose naloxone can be given. We recommend in most cases admission to the hospital specifically for pediatric cases and you'll see the onset of signs and symptoms of overdose will occur usually within three hours of ingestion and this tends to be somewhat self-limiting and will tend to pass within 24 hours. Specific attention needs to be applied if it's known that the patient had ingested any of the slow release transdermal patches, in which case you might want to consider whole bout irrigation. So remember, with clonidine overdose, you'll have hypotension, bradycardia, bradypenia, and somnolence, just like an opiate overdose, but only partially responsive to naloxone. As a teaching pearl for the medical students, remember that abrupt withdrawal from clonidine from the therapeutic doses can cause rebound hypertension.